Hi, welcome back. Georgie Burns here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I made this card using a retired stamp set for the penguin. Playful penguins. And I'm going to be using that image. And the scarf, which I never got out. Um, I'm also going to be using... Uh, snowman seasons for the Merry Christmas and hoping this season bing brings build sorry heartwarming memories which I've got out now there we are right cards I have got I did this one in garden green with a border of red and this one I'm going to do in real red uh, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and burnished piece of garden green at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I've got I've already cut it out and embossed a piece of white card which is Three and a half, three and three quarters by after I've cut it out, four and a half. So you want to do say four and three quarters, but cut it down at four and a half. And with this shape, I got it out of Good Morning Magnolia, uh, one of the dies out of there. I've also embossed it with a snowflake embossing folder, and that is going to go on there. I have another piece of white cardstock. This is three and three quarters by one and three quarters, and that will sit underneath there, like that. I also have a piece of tartan or plaid paper at three three and one eighth by two and seven eighths. And I have a piece of white cardstock, and this is two and seven eighths by two and five eighths, which will sit there. I've also got a scrap of pink where I'm going to be stamping this scarf, and I've also got some snowflakes. These, believe it or not, are left over from last year when I made. That Christmas tree for the Christmas tree festival last year and I've got a bag of them so I'm going to be using them up so to get started we need to stamp our penguin I'm going to be using my uh, stamping platform for that I've already mounted my penguin and these do it that way Only because if you stamp this penguin, sometimes you don't get full a nice image out of it. And I might have to stamp it twice. So and it's easier using this. If you've got a stamper artist, you can use that. I think two is enough. There's our lovely penguin. Clean this stamp. Um, put that away, we don't need that no more. So that's that stamped. I need this for. Merry Christmas and the real red ink and I'm going to stamp that towards the bottom nice and straight I hope yeah that's nice Just 
stamp is stained. Right, and then I want that's not big enough. The scarf, which I'm going to stamp in real red on this brush and bride card. Like that. And that is our stamping done. Right. Our paper snips, we just have to cut this scarf out. Because we need to stick that on. Our penguin. Hope everybody's well, keeping well, and all my American friends uh, enjoyed their Thanksgiving. As I'm stamping this or recording this on Saturday, the 28th of November. I think it'll be near enough December before you see this. So he will go on his neck like that. So let's get some sticking done. Right, first of all, move that out of the way. Oh no, we've got something else to stamp in a minute. I'll do that shortly. Bring in our garden green and we're going to stick down this Merry Christmas of my glue. Is blocked. I haven't made any cards for a little while. Well, I say a little while, it's about three days. <laughs> I'm going to stick this down first, leaving the border at the bottom on each side. And we're going to stick down the embossed piece. Extra glue because it's been embossed. And we're going to stick that down and make sure it's like that. It's either side of the, it all meets up so it looks like it's one piece. Right, now for my red tartan bit. Oh no, let's stick this on our card base. Before we do anything else. Everything's stuck flat on this card. I have no haven't used dimensionals at all. Right. Now we will put our tartan bit down. Then we will put our penguin down. I'm just going to sit him square on. Like that. Stick his scarf on. Like 
want him to match all the curves on the penguin. And then we're just going to stick these um, snowflakes just randomly. Ooh. Stick these down. A spare one, just stick it on, might as well. I'll stick that there. Right, with our piece of card that goes in the middle, in, in the middle, in the inside, we are going to stamp in red our sentiment. We're going to stamp it hopefully straight. Yeah. Pop this inside. Is some gems on the snowflakes. Now I've put four down, so I'm gonna have to put an odd one there. So I can't have four snowflakes, I'm afraid. Four snowflakes, four gems. is our card for today hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon